TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. And uh, this is Thursday, the 17th of Feb. We're looking at a Dow down 455. It had attempted a number of times to rally, but the news, the geopolitical news is really not good. And that's being reflected by the way gold is moving up. And we're looking at the Dow down 452 and 34,481. It got repelled again at that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And that says to me that I might have to make this arch formation, just one single arch rather than the uh, H to M pattern. It's a little mini M there. But this is not good. It's underneath the 200-period uh, moving average again. It was four days ago. Then it rallied above. This is not a good sign. We're looking at the S&P, SPX.X coming up right there. And the S&P is sitting right on the 200-period moving average down 60 at 4414. Um, now what we're looking at is it wasn't even able to cross the 14-period moving average yesterday. And now it's testing the 200. Not a good sign. In my show coming up, I'm going to show something unusual. I'm going to show some long-term charts. I'm going to go back to tops that have been made historically. And I'm also going to show you the Chapman Wave support and resistance lines. That's coming up. In the meantime, we want to look at the QQQ, NDX 100. Down 4.75 at 351.20. There again, it hasn't been able to get above key moving averages. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, the small caps holding on to the 14-period uh, uh, moving average down 343 at 203.08. Here's the story. Gold. Gold is up uh, $24 at 1896. I'm going to do a whole uh, series of charts that I'll show in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up in a few minutes' time. A look at crude oil. Crude oil is pulling back, as we spoke about the other day, but very little. It's sitting on the 14-period moving average. It's down $1.78 and 90.06. This is another story that's really important is the TLT. The TLT finally is rallying as money comes out of stocks and goes into the so-called so, so, so uh, safety of bonds. We're going to be watching this one closely, and I mentioned to my subscribers, we're going to be watching to see if there's a sudden turnaround later today or tomorrow for options expiration, as finally you get um, crude oil pulling back, gold pulling back, Bonds rallying so that yields can come down. Maybe we get a decent rally. What, back to where we were an hour ago? I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Nations Hour and check out my opening call.